I mean, why not? You know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. That's it. <sighs> Old Faithful. Jim. So, it's not the nicest day, but I don't really care too much because I want to split firewood and I want to get my heart pumping. And these are the axes I bring when I go to split wood. Now, the reason I got two of the same is because I got two bucking special wood bullets right there. And then just some stuff, double bit, double bit, and a little 28 inch handle with a three and a half pound head. Just when you get in those tight quarters and you need something where you need to stand up on wood or just, you know what I'm talking about brothers and sisters, just go to the wood with the, with the tool. See over there. All right, go to the wood with the tool. So he's doing a nice job here. He's doing a very nice job here, his friends. Whoa. There we go. Now, I think the rain kind of screwed up my camera work the other day. He's letting me take some wood, friends, for for my uh, woodshed, too. He's letting me grab some wood. We got this. So for starters, let's watch what our axes do when we decide to put them in the wood. Let's watch. Shall we? I think we shall. So let's do this. Let's put these down like this, because I'm just going to start attacking this stuff. Here's what a lot of my axes, what I, what, what they do and what I want them to do that I, most of my axes will do this this one probably won't it's got the most yeah it won't no see that and the reason being that one won't stick in is because of this it is a wicked split max friends i gotta get you guys out of the rain all right friends we're down at the gym here i gotta get moving couple different angles for you guys today I'm just gonna I'm here to I'm, I'm not here to, to ask questions or play around I'm here to split wood that's what I'm doing I got my tools I'm gonna start with a double bit and uh, that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put them over there uh, this is the kind of wood where you could literally with this this 28 there's so much you can do. Who needs a big, that's why I bring several different axes, friends. I, it's just what I do. I'm just gonna throw a pile over here as I go because it's all going over to the fence, right? So it's just, it's what's happening. This ax is incredible, this little 28er. It's incredible. Strong, a hickory handle. 
know what I mean, friends? So, yeah, yeah. You guys see me there, I see ya. He's got a Fiskars here, I see, and beer cans. So I'm not gonna pack around what I don't need. Do you guys know what I'm saying by that? I don't need a great big ax right now. That's why I'm running this thing. It, this thing's crazy, friends. It, look how close I'm standing to the wood. Right? It's just, it's all in the profile, friends. I can't stress it. I cannot stress it. It, it is, it's all in the profile. So, This axe is crazy, friends. In awkward positions, that's why I say, bring, don't bring one axe. Don't do it. I'm here for, I'm here for a workout, friends. I'm not here to play around. It's time, right? I'm not. See, some of this might be nice for the wood bullet. This is the balsam. See? You know, it's not bad. There's the knot right there we were looking for. There it is. Fiskers here. He's got a couple Fiskers malls. He's got a little teeny, little teeny Fiskers. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it'll work, but. So here's the Fiskers. Not heavy enough, but a lovely little axe nonetheless. Straight grain wood. Right? We're climbing through it here. So the moral of the story, the moral of the story is don't have one axe up the wood pot. This is the moral. I'm gonna get rid of the fish. Not my game. Get rid of the Fiskers, not my gig. You guys with? You see? So There's just no way around it.
guarantee you this. I'm, I'm telling you, friends. See, we're getting into some heavier stuff here now, friends. Yeah, this is lovely. Lovely little axe. I love this thing. Yeah, this works good. In behind the tree, it's all full. And we pan around here, we've got wood here, all behind me, and a big jag behind me. So the plan is, is to utilize our time as best we can. So not a lot of jibber jabber, just go, right? I'm gonna show you something on the double bit for just a second. I feel like grabbing the, uh, the, uh, I, I keep this fire going for them too, friends. You see? Here's, a, here's a butt cut. That was the top of the tree or a chunk. You can see that. It'll probably still get it, but see that jump right off there? You know, you, but one hit with the, with the big, uh, the wood bullet's going to take care of this business, you know. Yeah, you see? Here we go. So it, it's done. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Now I made this thing. The wood's a little gnarly. I'll be honest. It is a little bit gnarly. We'll see what happens. It all depends on who's swinging it. We all know this already. So here we are <laughs> with a double bit. It's all faithful and it is a beautiful axe. I've got to show it to you. I got to show you this piece. Um, here it is. You may not see it. You may look at it, friends. It's a worn. It, it is glorious. Old faithful. It's called right on there. Old faithful. And friends, it's a hang. <laughs> it is a hang. Killinger, 30, I think 32 inch handle. The profile is is a, is a double bit. It's one is one is for you know and splitting, and the other's for chopping. So it, it's a beautiful piece. So so let's just let's have a little go. Okay, friends. Look, I'm going to talk fast. We've all split wood. We we can all swing an axe around. But listen, when you're buying axes for anywhere from three to seven hundred dollars on all these beautiful axes that are out on the market. I'm just gonna show you a few ways that you can save out your handle. Take it for what you will. I will show you all my axes after months and months and years of smashing them around and you'll see under the handle what's going on. You do not have to beat your axes up. Here's a couple techniques that'll help. Yeah, friends, so it, it, it's one of those things like, you, you know, the, not necessarily the flick. Yes, the flick works, but the flicks takes some time to get onto. I'm just talking whereabouts you hit the wood. Just take a couple seconds and focus in here on, on what I explain. I think I actually focus in or like zoom in a little bit so you can see. These are just things that I do to keep my handles from disintegrating over, over a short period of time or a long period of time. I just, I'm very conscious about it now. I didn't used to be when I was a younger man, but now I am because I start to take a real liking to my axes and my handles because there's some beautiful handles out there. And when you spend dough on an axe, I mean, yes, it's a consumable product and you can rehang it, but gosh, why not make it last? Make it last. Back to her. 
just just quickly have a little go with this thing and then we'll grab the wood bullet because i yeah see this is this is <laughs> there's our splitting profile a lot of guys what they'll do is they'll mark their axe you see now friends I, i'm gonna take some time those of you who buy nice axes i want to show you something i may as well show you right now i didn't want to do a lot of this kind of stuff today but i'm going to show you anyway okay if you want to save your axes out I, listen I, i'm just telling you guys gals women and children you're gonna wreck your axes you are you're gonna wreck them if you start doing all this stuff reaching over there you're gonna wreck them it's only a matter of time you should be doing this on the outside ring at all times. Not only that, friends, not only that, you wanna be hitting almost like, I'll show you what I'm talking about, okay? Watch. You wanna be hitting like this. Watch this piece where I hit it, friends, okay? So now you could you could easily do, you could do anything. You, could, you don't wanna do that. You could go like this. Sure you could. You don't need to. Why not just use half the ax? Then your, your wood's not even near the tool. So get get into this habit, friends. Use, use it like this, look what's happening. I'm not even, I'm not even, like look. You see what I'm saying? It, it's a huge, huge thing, friends, for longevity of your tools. There's no reason, there's no reason why you should beat your ax up. There just isn't. Um, I used to years ago until I started taking care. Once again, friends, here's the deal. This is one thing. You're gonna go through the wood, right? You're gonna go through the wood. Can you guys see this? I have to check because I'm spending time doing this and I wanna make sure it's good. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Look at it like this. I'm gonna show you this. I'll tell you something, it'll save your axes, okay? So look, here's the deal. Yeah, you can do that. Most guys will, they'll, they'll, they'll go like this. Look what just happened. It just happened as soon as I did that. I hit it right there. Like seriously friends, I, I hit it right there. Nothing crazy, but an inch inside, it went down and it smashed my ax. Okay, so what I'm saying for you to do is that. What's the matter with that? This is what I'm saying here. Use half the tool. Then when you go over here like this, if you want to reach over, I mean, you can, but there's no real point, right? Just use the only part of the ax you need. I'm just trying to save you the, the whole thing, friends. You know, like, this is why I like my sharp axes, okay? What I just showed you. See? Did, did you just see that? It's... it's Sharp axes are the way to go. With the right profile, you're unstoppable. And there's no sense, there's no sense on wrecking your tools. I want you to see it. Okay, watch. Obviously our first hit is gonna be there. It went right through down onto the next piece of wood. So now you wanna turn your, turn your wood a little bit so it's there. I like splitting bark to me. Spend the, spend the second or two it's gonna take, right? There we are. Look at friends. This is what I'm saying to do. See, you can see a little bit of your ax. It's huge. It's massive. Now here's the difference of a guy who's going to go like this. He's going to go ape crazy thinking he's Paul Bunyan and go like this. You know, on straight grain, you're going to split the wood, but there's that stuff that's a little stringy and you're going to, you know, and you're going to wreck it over time. You're gonna wreck it. Don't think you're not. Does that make sense, friends? Okay. Good. I notice there's been some folks trying the flick. Let the handle go. See that? 
just let the handle go in your hands. Okay? Oh like yes. Lo loosen up your grip when you hit the wood. There's no need in, in, in death gripping it. See this? Yeah, I've already hit it. So just give, give it a smack, turn it around. You got all kinds of room. There's the flick. There's the flick. I'm not holding on to the ax, friends. I'm not doing it. Friends, honestly, I'm not. I'm not holding on to the ax. This, this does not, you shouldn't. That spun right around in my hand. See? So I'm just spending time with this stuff because I know there's people out there that are gonna pick this stuff up. Here's a flick. You don't need to flick on this piece of wood, but here it is. This is this is this is the flick in action. Sorry, friends. Use that little piece there. That, that, that's what it was. I use everything as exercise, everything. My core is engaged right now, completely engaged. My, my core is totally engaged. My shoulders are getting rear delt work right now. See this, this is rear delt. Switch up every now and again, get your other side of your body going. Look at. I like to split bark to me friends, you guys all know that. So I take the time. I take the time to switch it. Unless I get down to my last piece or something like this, sometimes I won't even bother. I'll just give it a boot in the bottom so it stands up. Okay, friends. This is where people go wrong. When it doesn't split, they start going haywire. I'm just not afraid. This is an amazing axe. All right. Wood bullet. Right away I feel the weight. Instantly. This thing's riddling knots. See that? Look at this thing. Balsam. I love it.
light ax, three and a half pounds, but lovely to swing, but it is too light for this. It'll split it. Don't get me wrong. It'll split it. Remember friends, when you split, when you're splitting with a shorter handle and you make a swap to a bigger ax or a smaller ax, remember to slow down for about five or six strokes. Get used to that different length. You'll chop your toes off. You will. That's when a lot of guys make a mistake is when they, and when they beat up their ax. Because now they're, they got a longer handle so they overstrike right away, first strike. Keep that in mind. These are just little things I like to share, friends, from experience, right? That's all, that's all I'm doing. I don't think that one's getting split, look at that. That thing's like gnarly in the crotch, not getting split. I may as well just move right on to the, to the bullet and stop horsing around. This is my favorite splitting ax right here. Look at it. It's, it's a maniac. It's a complete maniac. Look how stringy that wood is, friends. See, that's why it's kind of good to keep your foot traffic to a minimal here. Friends, listen, it is, it's December 20, uh, 31st. My Christmas tree's coming down probably within the next day or two. I just want to interject and I want to say something real quick. On the first buck and stock we ever had came a man, came a man and his family. And I gravitated to him right away because of his face and his energy. I'm an energy dude. I've always been an energy man. You know, uh, I've lived my whole life like that. Excuse me. Um, I'm just going to get right to it. The, the, he, right now he's got videos out on Buck and Billy Ray's 550 McCulloch that he's building. I ran a fi his 550 at Buckenstock. He brought it for me to run. Well, he talked about building me one. He says, we'll try and find you one. Well, he did find me one. And he's such a busy guy. Anyways, he's building it now over on his channel. Yeah. Bell Hopper Chainsaws. Okay. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'll just look real quick, Rick. He's a good friend of mine. Like, he comes to Buck and Stock. We've had two Buck and Stocks now. Peace, love, and power sauce is what we call it. Now, give me two seconds, friends. Here it is right here. Channels. Here it comes. I'm going to do this, just so you know. We'll make this very simple, friends. Yeah, here it is right here. It's Bell Hopper McCulloch Chainsaws. That's the name of his channel. He's got 4,960. He needs about 40 subscribers to get him over top of the hill. 5,000 subscribers before New Year's, before the New Year. Wouldn't that be cool to do this for this fella? <laughs> Friends, let's do it. Let, let's get, he's a good man. He really is a good fella. Family man, hard worker. And he does his YouTube to entertain friends. He's a, he's a man of service. Bellhopper, I love you, brother. Um, so once again, I'll put the link in the description. But friends, Bellhopper. B-E-L-L, Hopper. H-O-P-P-E-R. One word, Bellhopper. Uh, he's a great man. So let's do it. As a community, let's pop over. Let's get this man up over 5,000. It would make his time. All right, friends, back to the show. So this, a couple of fur rounds here, very stringy. I'll flip them on their sides like this and I'll open them up like this. It's all about being on target like that. See, fur stringy at the butts. Yeah, see? 
That's the one. Where's my bamboo? Okay, that's pretty much it. Yeah, it is. What's that? We got a little bit over here to deal with, but we're pretty freaking wet. We're really wet. And uh, I think I might just leave a little bit for him to split, friends. You know what I mean? People like splitting their own wood. I got the fire going. We got all this here. This whole piece is done. Here's the cord there. Shall we? I think we shall. So let's do this. Let's put these down like this. 
because I'm just going to start attacking this stuff. There's a cord. It's that simple. There's a cord of wood there. This fire is nice, but it, it's soaking wet, actually. There we go. <laughs> Smoky. Smoky Joe. Okay, so there is a little bit on the back side. We're getting dark and we're getting rain. So, uh, yeah, there's still this, you see? I'd love nothing better to keep going, but that's it. Let's pack up and go. Always had a couple of beers, a couple of chairs here. <laughs> so what we can do, friends, is put us underneath the trees. That's it. Let's pack up and go. If I don't see you again, before New Year's, which I highly doubt, Happy New Year's. Get outside, get your lungs pumping, especially men over in their 40s, late 40s, 50s. I don't care what how old you are. Find something that you can, I don't like going to the gym. I don't like going to the gym. I'm not a gym guy. I never have been. I've tried in the past before I got hit by my, my when I had my accident. And I, I was able to do that sometimes when I was in just crazy shape before I got injured. But after the injury, Things have changed. It can only do so many things to get the heart rate up. Swinging an axe is one of them. I happen to enjoy it. So find something you like. Get your get your heart rate up. Get that heart pumping, f f smashing blood through your veins. Because if you don't, friends, you're going to run into problems later. Men I'm talking about. And women too, but men. Us men, we got to stay strong for life. How are we going to help people in the streets and stuff or wherever if we're not <sighs> strong? I keep looking at that wood pile. I sure like it. Over and out. Well, I can't leave. I can't freaking leave. It's like, I don't want to leave. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Why does the guy want to leave when he's got this? I just don't understand. When you can move this back into the rain and you can just, you know what I mean? You can just go nuts for like, I don't know, a minute. With a double bit axe, right? I mean, why not? You know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. That's it. <sighs> okay, let's go. You know what I mean? Old Faithful. <laughs> oh, there's one thing I wanted to try before we go. I'll put you guys right in the rain because this phone I think can handle it. I think. Let's, let's see, let's quickly just try this. It's a gnarly, gnarly piece of wood right freaking there. See it? Let's get the big beast out and try it. I don't want to get that phone too wet. Here it is, the big, the buck and splash. Uh, this isn't, that's not the one I'm talking about. It's this guy right here. Okay, look at it. It's like, it's straight up. Look at the knots in it, friends. Can you guys see that? Look at that sucker. Pick your spot. 
that would be it. You heard the sound, didn't you? Aha! <laughs> Never mind. Look at that. That's it. Good night, Irene. Okay, that's enough. Let's go. <laughs> Over and out, friends. Well, I can't leave. I can't freaking leave. It's like, I don't want to leave. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Why does the guy want to leave when he's got this? I just don't understand. When you can move this back into the rain and you can just, you know what I mean? You can just go nuts for like, I don't know, a minute. With a double bit axe, right? I mean, why not? You know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. That's it. <sighs> okay, let's go. You know what I mean? Oh, faithful. <laughs> oh, there's one thing I wanted to try before we go. I'll put you guys right in the rain because this phone I think can handle it. I think. Let's, let's see. Let's quickly just try this. It's a gnarly, gnarly piece of wood right freaking there. See it? Let's get the big beast out and try it. I don't want to get that phone too wet. Here it is, the big, the buck and smash. Uh, this isn't, that's not the one I'm talking about. It's this guy right here. Okay, look at it. It's like, it's straight up. Look at the knots in it, friends. Can you guys see that? Look at that sucker. Pick your spot. That would be it. You heard the sound, didn't you? Aha! <laughs> You're mine. Look at that. That's it. Good night, Irene. Okay, that's enough. Let's go. <laughs> Over and out, friends. <laughs>